Third Apple River is 88.1 miles long and it's a tributary of the Grand River. We're parked at Moose Park, we got a fit toilet, and the river's right down here. We got a port too. What is this big hill? Holy cow! We're starting out from Bruce Park right there, put in just after these little rapids, heading down this way. We're crossing under 68th Avenue in Alaska. You hit a rock? Some small sets of rapids here at the beginning. Nothing this kayak can't handle. Heading under the Weeping Willow. Very pretty stretch of river. The river was home to the Ottawa and Potawatomi at the turn of the 19th century. <coughs> Navigating around the rocks. I maneuvered around all the rocks skillfully. We're at my sister Sandy's friend's house here. Here's Sandy and Jim's friend's house on the Thornapple. Beautiful place. Hey Sandy, I'm so glad they came. Come see us. I gotta find a way around these rapids without bottoming out. Are you hitting any rocks yet? So far, so good. Ooh, here's a big one I gotta get around. A couple of them. Made it unscathed. Ramming speed! She's too fast. Can't catch her. A lot of houses along here. And the river is widening out and slowing down. I think we're done with the rapids because there's so many pontoon boats along here now. You enjoying this, Barb? Pretty gorgeous day. Canadian geese have their goslings. Goslings are getting pretty big. 48th Street up ahead. There's the Thorn Apple River Bayou. Comes a plane in for the landing. We arrived at 48th Avenue and the CNO Railroad Trestle. Passing under the trestle. We're in the flight path. Barb's getting out to use the golf course bathroom. We just used a restroom at the Thorn Apple River Golf Club over here. I don't know if that's legal. Barb just found a golf ball. I just saw it roll up and she took it. Three. Here's Highway 96 and M6. Straight ahead. Passing alongside the Thorn Apple River Yacht Club and they got the slalom course marked out with buoys. A couple white tailed deer. One of them had a red one of them had a red winged blackbird on his back. We're crossing under M6 and Highway 96 at the intersection. 
Here's a cool old boathouse. There are a few areas along here without cottages, but far and few between. Here's Brian's place on Placida up ahead with a beautiful peninsula. They had a lot of hot dog cookouts on this peninsula. Brian and Rajini? Yeah. What a gorgeous day on the river. Barb's loving it. Yeah, we got a little bit of a headwind coming in now, which is slowing us down. Lots of pontoons and power boats along this stretch of the river, but none of them operational on the water right now. Everybody's working, I guess. And we are looking for a good lunch spot right now. Barb is famished. She's weakening. She can hardly paddle anymore. Here's the dam, and it looks like to the right is blocked off. You gotta go left. There's some steps straight ahead. We've arrived. We gotta portage around it and have some lunch. Here's the staircase. Hopefully, this is our exit point. Barb's gonna go the other way for some reason. Why are you going that way? Yeah. Do you want a hand? No, Time to see a capsize. Nope, not even close. She did it. We found that canoe portage. We got out in the right spot. The Cascade Hydroelectric Dam produces 7 million kilowatt hours of energy per year. Pretty park to relax. There's the dam. Gonna get in down there. What do you think, Barb? Pretty cool. The portage. Very simple portage. I think we're probably the first ones to ever so. do it. No one would dare do it. No, it's very complicated and I don't think many people could handle this. We're enjoying a good lunch at the dam. Yeah. They even have restrooms, free Wi-Fi, and drinking fountains at the park. There's the dam, Cascade Dam. We're gonna continue downstream. Here's the actual canoe portage. We went around on the trail because of all these rocks. I think it was easier. So this is the park at the dam where we had our lunch. We got Cascade Avenue coming up and Barb is rough and ready, always tough and steady. Just passed under Cascade Avenue. Okay, we got a lot of rocks in the river here, rising out of the depths. Barb's about to hit one. She just bottomed out. Oh. A lot of seaweed in this section of the river, so the water's a little clearer where you can actually see the bottom. It's a cool area. There's some islands in the river and Thorn Apple River Drive is to the left. This is all an island along here. Next time we'll have to go on the other side. This stretch is pretty wide. No current. Just a lot of cottonwood fluff balls flying into our faces. Barb, have you inhaled any cotton balls? It's a deer right there just watching us. There he goes. This river is just a nature lover's dream. Next we're gonna see a black bear or maybe a moose. Cougar. There's a little island here. We're gonna go around it. Do some exploring in the backwaters of the thorn apple. Feels like we just entered a whole other river. Going back here. Totally different feeling. We're merging back into the main river. Hi. I think this is another little backwater channel we can take. Okay, we're back on the main river again. And we got some swans up ahead. It's a pretty area. Some cattails growing. Red-winged blackbirds nesting in here turtles, 
probably some muskrats. We just scared the swans. The wind is blowing me back upstream when I stop paddling. I think that's Thorn Apple River Drive up ahead. Yeah, there's a camel bridge where we used to jump off it when we were kids into the river. This river is more like a lake through here. There's a nice little cottage along the bend in the river. And I think I can see the dam up ahead. And the river here is very wide also. This is like Lake Thornapple. Barbara's kayaking in capsized mode. She thinks she's cool with her feet up there. This is the Ada Dam. The Ada Hydroelectric Dam produces over 5 million kilowatt hours of energy per year. The dam was built in 1826 and rehabilitated in 1984. And I see a sign that says canoe portage. Barb, do you think we can do our kayaks here too? Or only canoes allowed? Barb is skillfully exiting her kayak at the portage site. We're portaging around this berm. We think this is the right way. Barb just about went down on these rocks. Hi Leanne, Lydia and Carson, we're kayaking by Ada Dam, right by your house. Going down the steps. Barb's entering. Here we got the dam, 227, we're back in the water. That's a cool dam. Got a railroad trestle coming up. Looks like a whole different river now. So narrow. We are back on a small, quaint little river again. Amazonian thorn apple. The Ada Covered Bridge. The Ada Covered Bridge was built in 1867 and in 1979 the bridge was destroyed by fire and a replica bridge was built. This is Thorn Apple River Drive we're going under. Ada Railroad Bridge. We are just past the bridges. And the village of Ada on the left. No houses on this short stretch between the covered bridge and Grand River. A lot of cottonwood fluff. It's very warm out here right now. I want to jump in. We arrived at the Grand River. We made it, bar. Crossing under Fulton Street. Made it back to our truck. Barb, yeah. congratulations. We made it. 251. We made it. Yeah. And it was a nice trip down the river. Great there. spot to get out to. Yeah. Very relaxing trip. Saw a little bit of wildlife, no one capsized, so it was really nice. This is the Grand River Public Access Park. There's where we're parked, and the uh, launch is right there, so very convenient. 